All right, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Final video of the night. Um, One Piece, episode, four episode was this? 551. Um, uh, this episode was basically, eh, nothing really happened in this episode. I mean, it was weird, it was just really, Hordy Jones, he, um, as we saw from last week, he was, those, uh, <laughs> those energy pills, he was eating them like candy, and then he went, buff, and his hair grew white, went white and shit, and stuff, and the other members of his crew, um, they took out the, the entire army, it was like, oh my god, um, and, uh, the only thing I, you know, I don't get, what I don't get is Jinbei. Does he actually think he intends to take on the entire crew of, of, of Hody Jones's crew? Does he think he could beat every one of them? I understand he wants to do this for his, you know, islanders and stuff, but the fact of the matter is, you're fighting like, what? What are we talking here? His whole crew! And you don't have any backup. The princes have been defeated. He expects to beat them all? I don't know about that. But anyway, moving right along, they're basically getting set and... and, and at some point, they destroy nearly everybody. Just everybody. And then you see the, the guard of the Neptune army there saying, Neptune Sama, Neptune Sama. And they approach this um, area right before you go into the Concord uh, pa Palace. Um, and they're the soldiers, and they're ready to shoot at them. And, and then the king steps up like saying, Get away! Spare your lives, Jamon! And they, they realize that there's no way to do it. There's no way to defeat these guys. It's pointless, <laughs> pretty much. They, they, they unleash the, the sea monsters on them, and then like half of them get destroyed. It's like really ridiculous. Then the other members of the crew show up, and it just gets out of hand. It's, it's like, oh my god. All the members show up. And then we get a scene also, as they're approaching the Concord Plaza, we get a scene with Jinbei. And once again, I say this to Jinbei, what are you doing? I understand what you're trying to do. And I understand that, you know, uh, now sure, Hoshi's going to go with you. Like, what are you, what are you doing? I mean, like, Jinbei, I understand what you're doing, but the fact of the matter is, you're alone out there. No one is fighting by your side. You think Shira Hoshi's gonna help you? <laughs> I don't know, I just, I respect, I like Jim Bay as a character, but his thinking through this is not working. I understand you wanna resolve the issue and you don't want, you don't want Luffy to get involved because it's the Fishman Pirates, the hatred would continue, you know, that all jazz, but come on, man. Anyway, basically, he supposedly defeats Luffy, and then we see Kaimi, she's with Hachi, and he gets on the, um, Magalo, the shark, and then they're on their way, basically, to the palace, the plaza, I said palace, I mean plaza, and I'm like, they further go in there, and then we get the scene with, you know, it at the plaza, and Neptune is... He's cu cuffed, and he's on these, like, stake things, these, like, long, you know, wood things. And we get the sea monsters and everything, and they're all ready for the worst. The They're ready to fight the pirates, the uh, Hordy's crew. And eventually what happens, the princes show up. One of the soldiers before the princes show up tries to use a dynamite, I guess, bombs to attack one of the, the officers. Hordy 
fucking annihilated this guy. And I'm not joking around. He shot, you know that movie does, what he did water shot? Oh my God. It went right through this guy, right through the uh, wall of, the, of, of where the, uh, this wall was, went through that, hit through a few coral reef trees, and it went all the way to where the mermaids were. And I shit you not, all the way down there, and unbelievable. It was like, holy shit, you know, and then it just dropped. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck was that? Unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. Um, and obviously the princes show up and and they go a lot. They defeat all the sea monsters. But then Hoyt's crew has their candy, the energy pills, they eat them, and they just they take out the princes and that's all she wrote. So, Jimbe, I ask this again. You still think you could beat all of them? No, listen. Anybody who's coming to this video and saying to me, Oh, I'm not making fun of Jimbe. I'm just saying, he's thinking, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's too, I don't want to say stupid. I understand what he's trying to do. I understand he doesn't want Luffy to get involved. He wanted to stop him. He wanted to say, listen, this is my problem. This is our problem. You know, we'll deal with it. But here's the problem. It's you against Horty's entire crew. And he already just took out the princess. I understand Jinbei's, you know, he was a super guy, you know, the whole bit. But let's be honest here. I don't think he can. That alone? That's ridiculous. But eventually, from what I from what I know, there is going to be a fight. I'm thinking what's going to happen is, um, now I haven't, you know, is they're eventually going to get there, the, the Straw Hats, and we're going to have that epic scene. Oh, I can't wait for the fights to go down. Those fights that go down are huge, huge. So yeah. But anyway, that's pretty much what happened in this episode. Uh, I'll give it a... I'm going to give it a three and a half for now. Actually, you know what? Let me give it a four. It's four out of five for me. Um, Horty... He's just ridiculous. He's like... Yeah. And to be honest with you, to be perfectly honest, I think Arlong was better. Better I said it. I went there. Arlong is better in my opinion. So, good episode of, of One Piece. Uh, I also, oh wait, big news. I just found out. There is no XL World. No episode this week. Something about soccer or something. That's why. So next week, we're going to get an episode of episode 10. And then so on and so forth. So yeah. Um, that's about it. I'm pretty much done for tonight. Yeah. I'm done for tonight. Uh... Check you guys later. This episode was like actually not. I, you know, the thing I get, the thing that really got me though with this episode was, um, uh, like I said before, the thing with Jim Bay. I, I understand what he's doing. I understand what he's trying to do, but Jim Bay, you're not going to defeat Horty and his entire crew. By yourself. Oh, you think you're gonna talk him out of it? You think you're gonna lay it down on the wall? You think you're gonna just beat him up? I'm sorry, Jim Bay. It's not gonna work that way. Should have allowed Luffy to do what he wanted to do. But you know, eventually we're gonna get the fights. So it should be interesting. We'll see. Uh it's been Balkai 922. See you guys later. Um I'm, I'm thinking about doing an interesting video soon. Because I was watching Dead Man Wonderland. So I'm thinking soon about doing... I got a lot of videos planned. A lot of videos planned. Later in the, the month. Um, I'm thinking about doing a double shot of verses. Yeah, double shot. One you already know is... And if, I hate to bring this up now. 
One piece of view. One we know is as Orphan versus Slayers. I don't think about another one. Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland versus Yuno. Oh, compare those two. Have a versus with those two. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Bonka922, signing off, and I will see you guys whenever. Good One Piece review. Good One Piece episode. See you guys later.